So finally introducing another car to the channel. Um, this one's probably been out of the time you've seen us working on cars. Definitely we've had for the longest. It's my R32 Mark IV, it's a two door. Um, sunroof blue, low case. Um, some Oz racing wheels and lots of little bits and pieces on it, which uh, I guess you could consider rare. Um, but the reason it's coming onto the channel now for us is a, it needs to get a waff, so we need to sort some bits and pieces out on it. And B, with a couple of things we're going to really update on it and kind of just get sorted out and back to the level it really should be at, considering um, what it is. So, for numbers, um, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but from what I've been told, there was 32 of the two doors that were brought into New Zealand. Of that 32, 11 were blue, and of that 11, 5 had a sunroof. So, that's what I've been told. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so it makes this quite a valuable car, I guess you could say. It's only got 100,000 or just over 100,000 kilometers on it. And apart from that, it's pretty stock. It's got a short shifter on it. Not sure what it is. Quite frankly, it feels terrible and we need to get rid of it. Um, Miltech exhaust all the way through. Would love to get the resonated midsection for it though, because without that, it's kind of just it's a bit loud and in your face constantly. Um, Magic color tail lights, which it came with, but they were cracked. Oh, one of them was cracked in the corner. So I've actually brought in another set from Europe and replaced those. My plates on it, obviously. And I think that's about it for parts on it. It's pretty dirty at the moment, um, just because it's been in storage and we've just brought it out the last couple of days to have over the weekend. Um, but yeah, we may as well pick some faults in it because why not? headliner in it is all sagging so we're going to get that sorted in the next couple of weeks because um, that's driving me insane especially when you drive the windows down flapping around the two front speakers in it sound terrible so we're going to update those we'll probably do all the speakers in the car at the same time and we're going to look for another head unit as well probably similar to what we did in the e30 because the blue head unit will look quite good on the blue interior lighting which that this has um, H&R Springs front and rear, Oz Racing Super Legra wheels on RE003s, looks good, front shock's starting to feel a bit worn, um, so we'll probably go to a Bilstein setup V8. Uh, Zanoli rotors with EBC green stuff pads, would love to get the calipers repainted, and we've also got a set of Porsche KN calipers, which um, you can buy the adapters for and put on, so not sure if we paint these or maybe we'll paint these and do a how-to and then also do the Porsches. Um, can I have a quick look at the engine bay because there's nothing really that exciting to see in there. At the moment the battery in it is completely dead even though it's been on charge so to start it we've got to jump start it so that's why the battery covers off. Um, we've had all the intake manifold off it and redone the valve cover gaskets, spark plugs, coils and everything are brand new. Bullion Reservoir we did when we got it. It's got a strut brace off an RS3 and you can see it's been clearanced under here to um, miss the throttle body. When it got powder coated, it wasn't that great a job. So considering we have a more um, better powder coated doing our stuff now, we might whip that off and get it sandblasted and powder coated again. Um, what else? Cane and intake. It had another intake when we bought it, but it was a bit too carbon fibery for my liking. I'd rather have a little heat shield with a um, pod filter. So stock interior as well. Um, we already talked about the headlining. The stitching on the driver's seat is starting to come apart a bit, so it's something we want to get sorted out. Standard R32 bucket seats, except obviously being a two-door, they fold forward and pop up. Um, there's nothing really much else going on. It's got a Haldex controller, so we've got the controller which we can put on the dash so we can adjust the Haldex unit. Um, I'm not sure if this is the factory light switch, which we'll just come around and have a look at in a minute, but um, it's, yeah, um, looks like Mark V to me, kind of just looks out of place. It hasn't been in any of my previous R32s. But apart from that, it's all stock. Bit of bird poop on the sunroof, but yeah. yeah. Adds value. I mean, this does get driven. It does. You yeah, know, it like despite driven. it being a pretty rare car, well, a pretty rare car 
to be in New Zealand and not in Europe. I mean, you probably see these quite a quite a lot in Europe, but to have a you know a two-door sunroof, it's uh, pretty unseen really in the in the yeah. scene for sure. Yeah. So I guess the purpose of today's video is going to kind of be on the shorter side. Um, is for us just to do a quick intro to the car. Here it is as we've pulled out our storage. Um, I guess what we're going to be doing to it, we're going to be sorting out front shocks, headliner's going to go off and get redone, sort out the seat, get it a waft because it needs that. It needs some maintenance, so probably service because it's been sitting out for a while, new battery so it can start by itself. Um, I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, kind of quick refresh and then we can use it over summer and maybe go to some meats in it or something and then back into storage for the winter, I guess. Back into storage for the winter, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So um, we'll be cracking into this in the coming weeks, kind of once the E30 gets sent off to paint, it's going to exhaust, obviously you'll see that in the next video. Um, and then, yeah, we'll start getting into this and getting it back to looking how it is in my imagination. My jump pack. Let's give it all be a part of the video. Okay. People make owning these cars look luxurious, but I mean, this battery drains, which is something that we need to sort out. So, it's just cool. despite showing the car off, we had to bring a jump pack with us, um, which is a part of the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> 